It is a Wednesday. It is a little bit rainy out there. Most of the state is cloudy. Um, let's see if I can show you. See the clouds? Here's California here. And you can see those clouds moving through. The main system is breaking off and moving to the south. Or not the main system, but the system is split in two. And the main activity is breaking off and splitting to the south. So we're going to see showers down around Santa Barbara. We already are. We're going to see showers into Southern California tonight. And then maybe a thunder shower as well. Uh, just reflecting on uh, retirement the other night, how fun it was to see uh, all my friends at work and how much I appreciate all the, the kind emails. It kind of sucked because when I, when I retired, they took my um, Channel 2 email, my KTVU email, and they just shut that bad boy down, Fox. I mean, you know, love them, hate them, but they just shut it down. So uh, that's typically how I, I respond to the viewers. And so people send all these nice notes and I have no way of answering them. So I'm kind of bummed about that. I don't know, might be probably my fault for not having, you know, for seeing that one coming. But um, I do all the, I've been trying to get back with everybody, everybody who emails me here, everybody, other platforms and stuff, um, because it's super appreciated. I, I, I can't tell you how much fun I've had and how much, um, just being a part of your family and just the nice things you say. I mean, I don't know, this is sort of, it's sort of a mutual love thing here or like thing or tolerate thing. But um, in my case, it's mutual love because I, I really appreciate, you know, anybody who goes outside, anybody who loves the West Coast, I know I'm supposed to love the whole country. I do love the whole country, but the West Coast is awesome. Especially, I mean, Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, Los Angeles. I used to be super just North Bay centric or North Northern California. But then I realized, geez, man, are you kidding me? I mean, we're all Californians and it's awesome. So get to do weather in this beautiful state. Um, and I appreciate all your help. Okay, so this is the satellite picture. This is infrared. No, this one is um, water vapor. And you can see the moisture kind of spewing off and the system splitting into this yellow represents drier air. OK, so what we can do now is we can kind of do that thing we did yesterday where we went, oh, where's it raining? Well, this picture is Santa Barbara and you can see some light scattered showers on the lens there. I don't think I can. I'm going to try it, see if I can play it. Let's see it. I don't think this one plays. because I think it's going to move around too much. Let's see. Let's just do one minute. No, no, it plays. Okay, let's try. Let's go six hours. See what, you can take these alert cameras and you can roll. Say, oh, nice. Oh, awesome. So that's that front moving right into Santa Barbara. And you can see it's, it's kind of heavy. The reason there's so much rain coming down on this camera is because, you know, the hills behind Santa Barbara, you get talk about orographic lifting. This, the moisture gets pushed in, hits that mountainside, goes up a couple thousand feet and unload. So that's Santa Barbara. That's this morning. This is San Diego State. And let's move that one through too. This is further south, obviously, San Diego. And you'll see the sun come up. You guys that live in San Diego got it made, man. Here comes the system, southerly winds. See it coming up from the south, the clouds, and they're getting thicker and thicker. And if we were to check this camera in another hour, well, it depends what time you see this. Boom, it's game on. There's 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 rain. So right now we got rain in Santa Barbara. We have, I think we're in San Francisco right now, and we don't have rain. The rain, most for the most part, well, we'll show you where the rain fell out. Down here, further to the south, down around Santa or uh, Big Sur, of almost a half inch of rain from that system as it moved through. And let's just bracket up here. So we'll go all the way up here. This is the north coast. This is the last 24 hours. So you can see Marin County, one hundredth of an inch, right? Nothing, nothing, nothing. And then it starts to go. San Jose, you got a little bit of rain, right? You got uh, three tenths of an inch out by Campbell. Okay, CNFRC, California Nevada River Forecast Center page. Santa Cruz Mountains came in at a quarter inch, a fair amount. But then the numbers, this thing really, as that system splits in two, this thing really favored the Santa Lucia range down around, um, Big Sur, half inch of rain, half inch of rain. So back it up. And now we keep going down here. We're working our way towards Santa Barbara. And I'll show you where we were right when that camera got taken. So right here. So we were kind of like right in this zone. And you can see the rainfall pretty light thus far. And then in the further areas south down to Santa Monica, not there yet, but it will get there very shortly. Uh, the national map, we like this map. 
I like it just because you feel like God, kind of. You're like, yeah, yeah, look what's going on for you know thousands of square miles. This is where the wind is, brown. Uh, these areas, this is a blizzard warning uh, up in Iowa. This is a winter storm warning uh, in, in Illinois, Chicago area, and then snow advisory. And then these yellows represent a tornado watch, big deal. So some severe weather through the Carolinas with some strong winds and some special marine statements. We work our way west. You get the wind line. You can kind of see where the wind stops because the brown, remember, brown is wind. A little bit of wind in West Texas. Here you've got a, a cooler air mass. So you've got um, uh, the winter storm warning. And then you've got a little bit of wind. And then out west, you've got winter weather advisory in blue, Nevada and California. And then you've got your winter storm warning from about mm, Yosemite South. And then you've got a, a winter weather advisory up in the hills by the Tehachapis. So pretty quiet overall, but except for the tornado watches, right? But, and also, quite frankly, if you're dealing with trying to get in and out of Chicago, O'Hare is going to be sketchy because you got blizzard warnings and what have you. Atlanta's got some wind, so you could get flight delays there. Yeah, so, and Denver's got stuff too. So, yeah, not a really easy flight day. One day, I'm not a big flyer, but if I were, um, I would pay attention. I'd go check out my flights and make sure my connecting flights and such are in one place. So, HRRR, this is a rapid update model, not the GFS. All the models are different. They have different input metrics they use, right? And some have a secret sauce, the others don't have. It's just, I, the models, you can look at them, there's many of them, and there's more being developed. And AI is gonna really change that too by creating more um, opportunities for, for input. Uh, so this is HRRR, this is more granular, remember? And so it goes hour by hour. This is the blooming system here. And it makes, you can see Bay Area here, Big Sur here in the yellow zone. So you can see the system moving through. This is right about, you know, noon today, something like that, a little earlier than noon, but right around noon, you see the system moves through. You're, you're, you're wet down in Laguna Beach. You're wet at Wednesday afternoon, Laguna Beach, all the way to San Diego, you're wet, but then you see the north part of the state clearing out and you see that line, right? And then we push through. There's a chance for a thunder shower as we go into Thursday. Not so much for the South, well, maybe a little bit for the South, but I, I, that seems to be diminishing more and more. And then we go dry until Monday night, Monday afternoon, and then the same kind of system. See how that is South? Okay, so we'll keep an eye on that. So I'm not gonna go too far because there's a lot going on and I don't wanna get muddled with the longer range forecast. What I care about, and I'll bet what you care about is the weekend. Me too, so the weekend looks good. So here's in, uh, GFS. I got a loop around San Francisco that matches the, the HRRR essentially. And then it, yeah, it moves this bad boy through all the way through Southern California by tomorrow morning for the most part. And then, yeah, Southern California, some more scattered showers. You got, it's going to be just cloudy down there in your guys and maybe a few showers late into Thursday. So we'll see. But this is because it's not granular it's really hard to take you know it, it's hard to uh read too much into this i just look for the the core of this thing where's the core there it is and there it goes and so that's thursday or wednesday night and now we're into thursday morning and then on gone and then there's your weekend i don't even see a lot of wind you guys and then this next system kind of comes in this is on t monday morning and into that's monday afternoon so somewhere around Monday night, again, Southern California. And again, you see that southerly slant. So that's a ways out. And then we can do this. This is the accumulation, right? This one runs off the GFS model. I can do it off the HRRR too, but this is just easy to read. So here is right now. Here is by tomorrow morning. This is rainfall accumulations. So you can kind of see where the bullseyes are. Just, just use the color. So the dark greens are like under a quarter of an inch. Um, some of the lighter greens are over a half inch. And then the yellows are over an inch. And then it just keeps adding. Okay, now, now we're into Thursday afternoon. That could be convective activity. And then you see it's pretty dry for a while. That's through the weekend, through the weekend. And then right around, that's that system. Remember that one that undercut again? This system comes in 
on uh, Wednesday afternoon. And that looks juicy for SoCal, right? It's the fire zones are gonna get some rain too. Again, this is accumulation. So you're not, you know, that's not in, 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 uh, down the fire zone. That's not one and a half inches of rain in a day. That's one and a half inches of rain in seven days, six days. So, and then you see another system come in and that's sort of, so you look at that, you go, okay, that's, that's the next 15 days. And uh, all water, that's all manageable water, by the way, even if it, even in some cases, like Marin County, only a couple of inches. So take from that what you will. Um, I, what I got out of it is, hey, the um, weekend looks cool, awesome. And there's gonna be a little snow in our mountains, but the mammoth area is gonna pick up maybe a foot and a half of snow. This is Soda Springs right now. So it's, you know, noonish on, uh, not even noonish, it's 11 on Wednesday. Uh, that'll turn over to snow. I think it probably already has turned over snow. I think I saw a temperature there below freezing. So that's Caltrans there. We'll come Caltrans. This time we're over on South Lake Tahoe Echo Summit. And they got snow. Hmm. And that makes sense, right? Because remember this system has 80s to the north. This system has a slant towards the south. Okay, now we're up scan. I believe we are somewhere awesome. I think we're at Kirkwood, which is fun. You see the folks out skiing. It's snowing at Kirkwood. Remember Kirkwood again on the south side of the lake from Bear Valley, Kirkwood down. That's where most of the activity is. Remember North 80, Caltrans, we didn't see any snow falling. We can check North Star, which is further north. And this is right now. It looks cloudy. It looks like it's not, uh, oh, it is snowing a little bit, I suspect, I think, or that's just my camera. You know, that's snow. So we've got some snow at North Star right now. So that's turned over. Here we are at uh, Palisades Tahoe. It's snowing. Look at that. Looks pretty dry though, or pretty warm though, right? Based on the, the fact that the snow is not really sticking on the walkways or on the railings. But I think it just started snowing there. Um, so that's it. So it's gonna be an awesome weekend. Today, kind of showery. We saw it move through uh, North California. You're gonna start drying out much more quickly. Seattle, Portland, you guys are money. South down from uh, Santa Cruz or uh, from uh, Big Sur down to San Diego, you're kind of showery all day and into the evening. And then the set tomorrow afternoon, maybe a shower in the morning, and that should be it for everybody. Ocean Beach, beautiful day. No rain there, really, right? I haven't seen any rain in the Bay Area yet. We might see some this afternoon, but not enough to change your plans. Surf is about 48 foot, winds are on shore, tide is coming up. Swell jacks tomorrow, so situation gets dangerous again, right? I mean, it's ocean always dangerous. We just had another, somebody got messed up at, uh, up on the Sonoma, not messed up, somebody died, I think, up on the Sonoma coast. Um, don't mess around. The winter time is, is, is a really bad time to, if you are not good with the ocean, just stand way back. This is Steamer Lane. You can see it's been raining in Santa Cruz, right? We have pretty good rain puddles too, if you can see down here. Uh, and the swell tomorrow will come up there as well. This is uh, just north of Pipeline on the North Shore of Hawaii. And you can see, I don't see anybody out, but it's, oh, there's a couple folks out here. This is kind of over by um, gas chambers or back, no, yeah, gas chambers. And uh, basically, Swell is going to grow there as well. This is San Onofre. San Onofre, wonderful spot to learn. You see a little wind in the tree. What you get from this is not raining yet, but will be raining shortly. And the surf down there kind of stays small, comes up a little bit tomorrow. But the, the, the waves are going to come up tomorrow, then go down a little, then come back up. So it's winter. So it's not giant, but it's something that you want to pay attention to. Um, so there's our system there going through the area. And again, let's take one quick look at the G, the, the H triple R back it up just so we can get today. Right? So here is right now, here is this afternoon. You guys looking Santa Barbara, LA wet, wet, wet. This is this afternoon late. And then by this evening, it starts to dry out, but you see widely scattered showers, maybe something up around, uh, Santa Cruz mountains. 
and then gone, and then there's your weekend. And then the next system kind of comes in on Monday night and pushes into Southern California as well. Okay, so that's it for me. I want to thank you again for uh, joining me on these little adventures. A lot of the, um, uh, there's a thing called exercise snacks, you know, they talk about it all the time, the exercise snack, you get up every hour and do a push up or something like that. I sort of, I'm referring to these cameras we're using because I like the idea of live pictures, radar, live pictures, uh, observation map, live pictures, right? So you can see if, the, if things are verifying. So I call these nature snacks, which I thought was really super clever and I'm not a clever guy, but it is sort of a nature snack. Anytime you can go um, out and be in, where are we here? We're in, um, oh gosh, that's in Marin County looking towards Bontempe right here, the reservoir. That, that's a nature snack. And I was thinking about this last night in bed when I couldn't sleep. But I do think that if you do, like sometimes I have one of the, we all have these big screens now, right? Just go to the Surfline app and pull up uh, uh, Santa Cruz and just put it up there. And just, that's a nature snack. Even if you're in an apartment building surrounded by concrete or go to the Alert San Diego or Alert California San Diego page, which is this, and just stick on some, some, some live cameras, man. It's awesome. And have you seen the, um, I just saw my wife pointed out that, sorry, rambling now, sorry. My wife pointed out that uh, eagle with the, the up, uh, down in LA, I guess it is. And uh, it's beautiful. The baby, the babies, the hatching, just starting to hatch. It's camera money. So, but that's a nature snack. If you can't get, if you can't eat a full bow meal, just get little snacks, man. Just look out the window pull up the live cameras, look at Mount Shasta, and just get inspired because where we live is super inspiring. Thank you so much for hanging on. Um, I'm really enjoying this. I, the more that you guys sign up and the more that you comment, the more it drives me because I'm like, oh yeah, because I'm kind of showing off for you guys. Look at the stuff we can do, right? Or by showing off, I mean, just like look at, the, look at nature, look at the models, look at the satellite. Um, Tell a friend, that would help a lot too. Just go, hey, this Bill's doing a thing that I kind of like. Um, and let me know if there's something you need. We'll make that happen. I'll see you back here. Today's Wednesday. I'll see you back here Thursday.